Hello, witches, wizards and muggles. I hope you are well and I just thought I'd do a couple of brief videos explaining a project that I'm roughly and quickly doing for my son. He's asked for a Harry Potter themed bedroom. I've got less than six days and uh, I'm going to see what I can come up with and what the charity shops in my town can provide and what I've got squirreled away. So let's um, do this. So for my first Harry Potter themed uh, bedroom item, I uh, managed to do some research uh, on YouTube about designing lampshades. Now there was a great uh, video which I'll put the link to in this video and uh, it was all about designing uh, a lampshade that had Loomis and Knox on. I've managed to get uh, some stickers with Loomis and Knox on for his light switch. What I've managed to do is find a very plain white cone-shaped lampshade from Ikea for I think five pounds and um, with a bit of trial and error and some plasticky cardboard I managed to add some Harry Potter stencils to create a kind of Hogwarts silhouette. Um, the templates themselves I got from a Google search. Just uh, I typed in like Hogwarts stencil, Hogwarts template, a pumpkin stencil, which was a very good one. Um, and I also just kind of made some up. So we've got the Quidditch pitch and, and the towers, Hagrid's hut, a bit of the Forbidden Forest with the Whomping Willow in, and again background to Hogwarts. Uh, the beauty of doing this is you can't really make any mistakes because it, it doesn't need to look exactly like one thing. And if you want to add a couple of windows here or there, or um, uh, some smoke here, or a little uh, golden snitch there, then it's entirely up to you. The Whomping Willow um, kind of thin branches uh, was a black marker pen on the inside, and again I just... I roughly try to do a shape of uh, a Ford Angler, the Weasley's car in it, just to uh, added effect. I could have carried on this project for ages. I could have done clouds. I was thinking of Dementor. I was thinking of a couple of wizards on their brooms. Harry trying to reach the snitch. Um, but, but my wife said uh, his birthday is in a few days' time, and uh, let's leave it there and move on to some other projects. So um, I hope you enjoyed the next... I'll cut to a video where uh, it's turned on just again talk you through it and how it looks and how pleased I am with it and I hope he's going to be really pleased too. This is the lampshade on in the hallway. I just thought I'd use it as it's uh, a bigger space to stand. I'm on tippy toe at the moment so apologies for the shaking and the echo of my voice. Um, as you can see the stencils that I made and uh, fixed to the white lampshade has done very well indeed. Um, I've got the Whomping Willow, Hogwarts, uh, you can see the Weasley's car in the tree. Now the tree detail, the branches and the car itself is just a black marker pen on the inside of the lampshade. Moving around we've got the Forbidden Forest and Hagrid's hut again. The smoke detail is is from a marker pen. The stencils I found online, I, I just generally looked for pictures of what I've um, transferred onto stencils or pumpkin carving stencils. This is the Quidditch pitch and there you can see a little golden snitch and the hoops. And it comes back round to Hogwarts. I like the towers of the Quidditch pitch. In fact, everything for me, is, I can just look at it and it's very iconic. So um, very quick to make. The lampshade was five pounds from Ikea. The backing was some a material that I had, kind of a plasticky cardboard that I had already and the, and the marker pen. So, uh, and the build time was about uh, two hours, just getting the template right. Luckily the plastic that the lampshade came with, actually I could um, just to cut off and use to help with the, the backing. Lots of practice in the cutting and then uh, I just used Pritt stick to glue it and it's done a great job. So 
it went on very quickly and uh, for five pounds and a couple of hours of work has given me I think quite a fun Harry Potter lampshade. Well I hope you like. Um, there's no tutorial on how to make it um, but I will share a tutorial of, of someone who's made a great uh, lampshade with Loomis and Knox on um, that gave me the idea for this one. So uh, happy building and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to follow any other future builds that I might try.